Hello and welcome to another video in the Power PE series from movingelectrons.com. Our topic for today is going to be parallel transformers. So without wasting any time, let's get right into the question. Um, two single phase transformers with the following ratings are to be connected in parallel. So if we've been given uh, characteristics of two transformers. Uh, they have the same voltage ratio, 4.16 kV on the primary and 480 volts on the secondary. One of them is a 2 MVA transformer with an impedance of 5.5%, whereas the other is a 1.5 MVA with an impedance of 5%. We've been told that the load current is 800 amps. What is the current contribution of each transformer? So that's what we're supposed to find out, what the current contribution is. And we've been given four choices here. So what I've done here is written two formulas that we'll be using as well as drawn the single line which I like to do uh, where we can. It just gives us a pictorial representation uh, of what the system looks like and, and allows us to solve the problem a little bit easier to understand it a little bit, e a little bit more as well. Uh, so let's just look at the formulas very quickly that we'll be using. I'll be going into them as, uh, as we're using them in the solution. Um, but this first formula here relates if there are two parallel transformers, what's the relation between the load current and the transform and the uh, current contribution from one transformer and the current contribution from the other transformer. Uh, we'll be deriving this uh, very shortly. The other one, this you should be familiar with, or if you're not, I'd request you to um, uh, review your notes for uh, per unit uh, and the per unit method. Here we're transforming one impedance uh, with on, on a particular base, so which I've referred to as old. So we're uh, converting that to a new impedance with a new MVA and a new voltage base. And I'll talk a little bit about this as well once we uh, get to the stage where we're using this formula. So let's look at the single line of what the problem is. Uh, we have two transformers, T1 and T2, both have the same primary voltage, 4.16 kV, and they're connected to a bus of 480 volts. One of them is a 2 MVA with this impedance, one of them is 1.5 MVA with a 5% impedance. What we've been given is the load current, so that's IL, which we've been given as 800 amps. Uh, what we've been asked to fi find out is, let me just adjust my... Uh, Pen with theory. Yeah. So what we've been uh, what we've been asked to find is I1 and I2. So let's get into the solution here. What we can see clearly from here is IL is going to be I1 plus I2. So let's call that equation one. The other thing we notice is I1. We know Ohm's law would give us V1 over Z1. And similarly, I2 would be V2 over Z2. Now, one of the things we need to notice is V1 and V2 are the same because they're the same um, voltage ratios, both these transformers. So we can say V1 is equal to V2 is equal to V. Let's call this equation 2. So from 1 and 2, what we get is IL is equal to V over Z1 plus V over Z2. What I've done here is I've substituted for I1, I've said V1 over Z1, and V1 we've substituted with V here. So V over Z1 plus V over Z2. What we can write this as is V over 1 plus Z1, 1 over Z2. And this is nothing but Z1 plus Z2, Z1, Z2. So that's just arithmetic manipulation there. The one thing we can notice from this formula here V over Z1 is I1 because here once we substitute this, this becomes V over Z1 and this becomes V over Z2. So this portion here 
is nothing but i1 and this portion here is nothing but i2 so we're going to use that and what we're going to say now is that our i l can be written either as either in terms of i1 so if you write it in terms of i1 it's going to become i1 the remaining um, variables here are z1 z2 and z2 in the denominator it's going to be z1 plus z2 over z2 here or we can write it in terms of i2 which is then z1 plus z2 over z1 in the numerator in the denominator sorry and if we want i1 then that can be written as z2 z1 plus z2 times i l or we can write i2 is equal to z1 over z1 plus z2 times i l and this is the first formula that i've mentioned up here there you go so the the thing to remember here is if you're calculating i1 then in the numerator you have z2 if you're calculating i2 in the numerator you have z1 so now that we have this equation here we know i l we know z1 we know z2 can't we go ahead and just calculate i1 and i2 and the answer is no the reason being we do know z1 and z2 but what you have to realize is that they're on different bases now if you remember from your per unit method when you're analyzing a system using the per unit method all the impedances have to be on the same base now in this case so we have what we've been given we've been given z1 is equal to 0 0.055 per unit at 2 MVA and we've been given Z2 is equal to 0 0.050 per unit but at 1.5 MVA so we need to convert one of these into the base of, so either we convert Z2 at 2 MVA or we're going to convert Z1 uh, to a 1.5 MVA so what we what I'll do is I'll convert Z2 to 2 MVA now this is where we're going to use this formula okay so I'll write this down here again so what we're going to do is we're going to calculate Z2 at 2 MVA this is going to be Z2 at 1.5 MVA and then we're going to have KV so the formula says KV base old and KV base new but in our case uh, both T1 and T2 have the same voltage ratio so the KV the voltage bases are going to remain the same because if you're going to take the primary voltage uh, as your base which is 4.16 KV whether it's T2 or T1 your base is the same so what we're going to have here is you're going to have 4.16 KV over 4.16 KV square so that's going to remain the same that's going to cancel out and become 1 and we're going to have MVA base new over MVA base old. So we're going to convert from 1.5 to 2. So 2 is going to be in the numerator and 1.5 is going to be in the denominator right here. So you're going to have 2 over 1.5 MVA. So this is going to be, and we know this, this value is given to us as 5%. So 0 0.05 so we're going to substitute this with 0 0.05 this becomes 1 and once we plug this in our calculators we're going to get a value of 0 0.067 per unit now we can use this value so let's call this z2 prime so in this formula, we're going to substitute 
z2 prime so what we're going to have is i1 is actually going to be z2 prime over z1 plus z2 prime times i l and then i2 is going to become z1 it's going to remain as it is uh, because that's what we converted the z2 to to that base and we're going to have this so we're going to use this modified formula which is going to give us i1 is going to be equal to 0 0.067 over 0 0.055 plus 0 0.067 times IL is given to us as 800. And then we're going to have I2 is going to be 0 0.055 over 0 0.055 plus 0 0.067 times IL, which is 800. If you plug this into your calculators, you should get I1 is equal to something like 440 amps and your I2 is going to be something like 360 amps. And you can check this, the sum of these two should be equal to uh, 800. So I1 plus I2 should be equal to 800 amps, which it is. So that's your correct answer. Let's go and um, let's look at our options. So T1, 440 amps, T2, 360 amps. So that's our option B right there. Um, these 381 and 419 amps is what you're going to get if you're going to substitute Z2 here as is and you're not going to convert the basis. So you can go ahead and test that if, if that works out. Um, but, but that's it, it's, it's relatively simple once you understand uh, this formula. The only catch here is you gotta make sure that you convert your impedance uh, values all to be on the same basis. Um, let's do a quick sample question that I'm gonna leave you with. Um, you can solve that, it's gonna be relatively straightforward using the same formulas. So let me give you two transformers. Transformer one, let's say, is again 13.8 kV to 4.16 kV. Uh, this is, let's say, a 10 MVA transformer, and the impedance is 8%. Transformer two is 13.8 kV to 4.16 kV. Let's say this is a 12 MVA transformer with the impedance of 8.8 percent let's say instead of the load current what you've been given is the current in transformer one it is 200 amps so what you're supposed to find out is the um, current in the current contribution from the second transformer and what is your load current in this case um, so try solving this problem. It's just relatively straightforward. Um, leave your answers in the comment section below. Also, if you have any questions or any other comments, any feedback for me, I'd really appreciate that. If you haven't already, I'll encourage you to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos in the Power P series uh, moving forward. Um, hope uh, it was uh, clear today. Um, once again, look forward to hearing from you. Uh, feel free to even send me an email, nimish at movingelectrons.com. Till next time, take care. Bye now.